Hello everybody, I'm Tia here at The Link and today I'm going to show you a fun and simple craft about making a button tree painting. The supplies that you are going to need are paint brushes, cup of water, I just pick some paint colors, I've already uh, put it in my lovely palette here. Have my canvas, hot glue gun, and I picked up some buttons from the dollar store. They only happen to have pink this time, but that is okay. I'm just gonna start by painting a background. I chose silver. And I'm just going to paint it all one color. You can do whatever you'd like. If you want to do a sunset or you want to do a forest to be the background of your, your button tree, that is totally okay. Be creative here. So after whatever you have done for your background is dry, you can start your tree. I have opted to do it as a silhouette, so I'm going to make my tree black, but you can use, again, brown, green, yellow, pink, purple, blue, whatever color you would like, and just, I'm just making some branches here. Doesn't need to be fancy at all. Just keep going. So I've decided for mine that I'm going to, oh, there we go, just trying to wash my brush off here, that I felt like adding some other colors to the ends as well. Totally up to you. Do whatever you like. So I'm putting in, I chose some neon yellow just to add kind of some, some flowers or some foliage. Don't forget though, you will be putting on your buttons. So I'm just, I'm just choosing to dab. You can do some intricate leaves if you would like. I have decided that because I was only able to get pink buttons that mine's probably going to be more like a cherry blossom tree. Very nice for this spring weather, summer weather, whichever season it is right now. And I figured I'd throw a little bit of green too. It's like having some leaves in there. I am a very messy painter. I just smash paint onto a canvas. Feel free to take more time. There we go. So there's my tree. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my hot glue gun and decide where to put some of my buttons on. So you can put them in clusters, you can put them all over. I'm probably going to put them in clusters. And as you can see here, I have all kinds of different types of buttons. Oh, 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 careful with your hot glue gun. 
As you can see, I'm kind of getting glue everywhere here. So this is my finished project here. I had a whole bunch of fun teaching you how to do this. Go try it at home and share your creations with us on the Link Facebook page.